All right, so our hashtag Fourth Art Saturday theme for this month is architecture. I'm going to be doing some uh, bricky type backgrounds and various pieces, and then we will assemble them together so that we have a sliding mechanism and a flap. And don't forget to pocket, y'all. Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and today, Fourth Art Saturday, architecture theme, I am going to use some Distress Oxides and a uh, one of those fancy makeup brushes from the Dollar Tree to apply said ink. I am not trying to go with a blended necessarily, full coverage kind of look through this brick stencil. Uh, you know, because bricks are not 100% pure color unless you've painted them. And then that's a whole different brick story, okay? Anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to do this for each of the uh, three separate components that we'll be using. Is it three? I don't know. Anyway, I've sped through it because, hey, gun, y'all, because the video uh, came out to be like 21 minutes. That's a little long for a hop. But, you know, it, it's okay because there's just stuff I need to show you. Because it's distressed oxides. If it gets wet or some such thing, it will change the coloration. So I'm using some clear gesso. And as you can see, I'm brushing down, then back over it, and that's it. And moving along. Okay? Then I will dry it and do the same thing once again. And after that, I mean, it does smear just a little bit. I don't know that you can tell on camera. I'm not even sure you'll be able to tell in the photo montage, which happens at the end of the video. But uh, it does. Hey, gun, y'all. And um, so there we are. We've got our, this is our initial background. This is just cardstock. Oh, speaking of cardstock and stencils and such, there is a list of ingredients in the description box below the video. Click on the phrase, show more, to see more information. Not just the ingredients, but the links, y'all, to everybody else who's participating in this 4th Art Saturday hop. Okay? Architecture. So, I have this little die. I've been excited about using it. I, I got it on clearance, y'all. So, well, you know. Anyway. And I thought, well, I want to piece it together because it, you know, does all them little tiny die cuts. Oh. Anyway, I put double-sided ATG tape on the back of the, um, the pale blue one. And then I also put it on my background paper, which is just copy paper. Now I'm taking the, I did a, a second die cut of a goldy yellow and then a different blue. And we're going to be piecing those little teeny tiny things inside the little cutouts, y'all. <sighs> yeah, it took about 10 minutes in real time. Which is not too bad. I wouldn't want to do a bunch of these, but, you know, for this one project, it's good. Oh, we're doing a journal page, guy. You could actually do these kind of uh, techniques for, I don't know, I guess anything you want to do. I mean, you know, your imagination is your only limitation. So, any hoots, we're piecing that together. And I probably could have cut some more out or sped it up some more or whatever on this part. Because, I mean, how long do you need to see me doing that? Long enough to say, please, when you visit these other people's channels to visit their 4th Art Saturday architecture theme videos, please be sure to give them a thumbs up. Leave them a kind comment. Share the videos on whatever platforms you use now. Okay? Just saying. Thank you. Oh, we all appreciate it. That's just a little tiny scrap of red I had over there at my die cutting station. And I did, because there's a heart and a tippy top, so we just did that. And uh, I thought I could use a diamond for the doorknob, but I didn't have any diamonds quite tiny enough. So I had to go back over there and die cut a dark color. It, it, as if it really matters, because sometimes I get stuck in the details. 
guy that instead of the S and sub sometimes I do get stuck in the details so now we're trimming it out and that is like I said it was copy paper and that keeps our pieces in there now what I did but I didn't film I did not film was me putting a coat of uh, matte uh, golden matte medium over the top of that just to put a coat over the top of it to help reinforce those little tiny bits staying in there now we're going for a second component here and we're uh, we're using just brick stencils y'all I happen to have found um, three different sizes <laughs> how lucky can a clearance shopper get anyway I've had them for a while <coughs> oh excuse me y'all our air quality is not the best thing in the world lately so we're just flipping it over so we can sort of match it up it does not have to be perfect because in in reality you're really not going to notice much of this stuff now this is uh, another component and this will be our sliding door and yet a different uh, color of the oxide ink still using oxide ink and um, I like the white background so that it uh, makes uh, you know like sort of whitish grout I guess gray would have been better but whatever it's already done and we're doing two sides of um, of the that other component we did a minute ago with the, the medium stencil now we've made a third piece of cardstock I know it's confusing to me too and we're gonna cut these little bricks out okay I do not suffer you through the whole thing. I'm just trimming them out. Um, I probably could have just put some blue ink on a piece of cardstock and then just get out brick shapes. But, you know, it's in the details sometimes. So I do that. I think I cut just darn near every one of them out. Okay. And we set that aside. Now the oxide inks do need to dry a little bit. That's why I use the heat gun in various places. Now because this one's going to be a flap, I've put a score mark in it. And I don't have a 16th uh, ticky tacks to do a second score mark. So I scooted it over half of an eighth. <laughs> y'all me and measurement so that it makes essentially a sixteenth of an inch little gap when you score it all up okay because you don't necessarily maybe you do I didn't want my little pieces to be so uh, smashed together that they hung up I wanted just a hair of a gap in there and it will make more sense in just a little bit I am doing the same thing on this component. Um, doing two, and what were the measurements? I don't know. I think it was like half an inch, but I don't know because it really wasn't that important for this particular type of thing. Because you just kind of play with it and make it work for you. So as you can see, maybe you can see, maybe you can't. There's a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to do it again on this other end. And I'm using a metal ruler. I'm folding up the first fold and scooting the ruler just a little bit so that I can fold over the second one. And I think I'm going to try to give you a close-up with a ball stylus so that you can see that there's like a gap. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Do you have to do it this way? Absolutely not. <laughs> do whatever works for you. I'm just basically sharing an idea. And, and it's along the architecture theme. Which is why I went with blues. Now, granted, I didn't have any inks the uh, necessarily the color of blue prints because that would have been so cool. My manganese is pretty close, but I wanted to use the oxide, so there we go. Now I'm measuring out for my slider because that's going to be a slider, and I'm going to cut a thin uh, strip of cardstock away. And I could have, like I said, I could have made the slider uh, any height, essentially, that I wanted. But that's the height I went with. And it actually ends up making the bottom part, well, and the top part of the cardstock just a little flimsy. So beware of that. Okay, but I, I show you something in a little while that will help uh, correct that issue. So I am taking out a tiny sliver. Could have been smaller. Okay, my sliver could have been smaller, but it's what it is. So I'm just trying that on. Yep, it slides. And uh, I need to erase a little pencil line 
Did it matter? Probably not, but some, like I said, sometimes I get caught in details. So now we're going to do the other side. Well, the other, the top or the bottom, because it doesn't matter at the, in this case which which is the top and which is the bottom. It will when we assemble it, but not 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 for cutting those little slivers out. Okay, so we have a top and a bottom. Just straightening up some things, because sometimes I get caught in the details, and I'm like, see, now you can see that slip better from the opposite side, and I've slipped my sliding component in there so I can measure for the other component, which is a flap, okay, because I want the slider to come over the top of it, but I want the flap to be able to still um, flap open. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. I did my little measurements and I used my card instead of a ruler. Okay, use a ruler if you want to. And uh, again, we're going to make just a little sliver. This one was a wee bit thinner, but you can still see it. I mean, and that's just sort of the nature of the game, y'all. And uh, you do want to use a sharp craft knife. You want to be careful so as not to cut yourself or to scare your viewers as you're using it. Okay? So we've got our little fold in there, and that uh, that little flap is going to slide in there. See, we, we put the brick, the little brick, the tiny brick, on the back and the front. Okay, we use three different colors of oxide inks. Here's our manganese, which is an archival, which is permanent and we're going to ink around everything with the manganese and then I inked around the edge very slightly with the black it just adds such great dimension so here's our house and I thought well I'm going to make this a pocket it's too tiny anyway it's pocket but it's too tiny so we glue that on a solid piece of um, it was a scrap cardstock y'all see it's pockets too tiny and when I glue that uh, blue piece house the house segment on I actually make that a pocket as well that loads from the top but I didn't film that part because the video is long enough so now we're going to put our flap in we've slid it through our uh, our opening there we've folded the, the flap back on to itself so we could put the glue on the correct side Okay, so that we fold it that way. All right. I don't know. I'm confused. There we go. Correct side over. Okay. Now here's our slider. I've slowed the video down a little bit for this part. So we've got our little score folds in it. And we're sliding it through the little slits at the top and the bottom. Okay. Orientation doesn't necessarily make or break in the particular case of mine for bricks so I've got these strips and uh, again I'm using my actual item to measure off of and not necessarily a ruler would it be easier to use a ruler probably but you know <laughs> it's okay eyeballing's good guy for me it's working yeah a little more a little more this one I ended up trimming up after I had it glued on so uh, you could use one solid piece would have been better in this case because of the way our flap is see the blue brick on the back of the piece there yeah one solid uh, piece would have been better but I had two two pieces of scrap card stock so that's what I'm using all right because sometimes your mechanisms will get caught up on other things you have on the back side, the reverse side, all right? Which, it happens. But we will fix that. I will show you a fix for that as well. Okay, because sometimes that's just how it goes when you're just flying by the seat of your pants. Architecture, y'all. I'm sure the real ones don't do it like this. Although I've seen construction guys kind of fiddle around with it. But anywho, so we've got two pieces and that holds our thing. Let's see, it's like, oh, it's getting caught. I could not figure out for the life of me what it was getting caught on. I thought it was sticking on something on the back of the cardstock. And uh, I ended up, I found a little thing and I'm like, oh, that's what it is. But <laughs> it was it was my flap for my pocket, okay? And then I will snap to that. I'd be like, oh, see, I got to trim off that little part of the white stuff. It was just bothering me. Sometimes it's a detail. I've already said it 500 times this video. I'm like, what 
is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, what can I cover that up with? I could have used a piece of tape or, you know, whatever. But I wanted to keep it flat. So I'm going to use a piece of uh, spare copy paper scrap that was laying over there to the side. It's just a little scrap. And I'm going to glue on all four sides eventually. But I want it to start underneath that first strip that holds our slider in place okay now look at that that pretty smooth smooth operator so to help cover up all the workings on the back side and to help reinforce the top and bottom edge because you know that's pretty flippy flappy I'm putting a piece of black cardstock I could have used blue or white or whatever I picked black Okay, I don't know. I'm just special like this at that. And that's just a little wonky. So we're just trimming off and nobody will ever know. Act like you don't know. Okay, so there we go. We've got that flippy flapping in. Guy. And by flippy flapping, I mean sliding. So I've got those bricks. Remember the bricks? I'm going to stick some out over here on the left side of the slider so that it will give you something to grab a hold of, you know, so you can slide it. And I will do the same on the right side with some of those bricks. And then I'm going to lay some of those bricks, glue them onto some of the other one on the pattern just to, you know kind of add dimension in real life but I don't think it comes over on the video camera very well because I didn't do any additional inking around them because sometimes I get lazy <laughs> it would have had added more depth had I added a slightly different blue shading around these bricks they would have you would have noticed uh, better okay excuse me one second Sorry, it coughing. Oh, air quality. Anyway, I'm folding those edges over so they'll be just a wee bit sturdier. I don't expect this journal page to get a whole lot of use, especially since I will probably be the only one that ever sees it until I pass away. And then, then it won't even matter to me anymore, will it? <laughs> ah, it just makes me happy. And that's all that matters at this time. Okay, so... There we go. That's working pretty good. How many bricks did I show you uh, that I glue on? I don't know. So while I was over there at the diamond place looking for the doorknob, remember? I saw these stickers from the Dollar Tree and I thought, Oh, how cute would that be on my brick wall? So this we're doing. I've already die cut some um, uh, flora you know some leaves and a flower stuff and I'm going to glue them together and slip them into the slits I cut and after I get the green leaves in there I thought well there's no dirt in this flower pot at all it's just it's just flower pot y'all so I get out some brown paint what brown paint I don't know I didn't write it down okay just brown acrylic craft paint and i'm kind of gluing these together so that they're you know glued together and we will trim them off because it's like i don't need them that long i don't want them that long what a question I need it's a question of one so now i gotta cut that slit just a little bit bigger i could have taken that whole little center part out but then it it would have been then it wouldn't look like dirt in a flower pot <laughs> you'll see details y'all so we're sliding that in now remember this is a sticker oh it's kind of a puffy 3d-ish kind of sticker it's from the dollar tree y'all anyway i'm not necessarily promoting any store or any product these are just things i use and that I've, I've, i like okay so here comes our little flower stem and we're going to do the same thing only this time i'm like oh the dirt see here's the time for the dirt so we get that painted and then we're going to stick our flower stem down in through there are they an appropriate size flower no does it matter absolutely not does it make you happy do it if it doesn't make you happy don't if you have to explain your stuff to somebody there they have something i don't know different different story different subject all that kind of good stuff anyway 
So we got that. And I thought, okay, we can put all this away and actually stick this down. Put some glue on that because we didn't want an air pocket because sometimes it's the details. <laughs> Architecture. Put some more glue on it. So we got that glued down, and I'm like, oh, now my plants are sticking up. I need to glue them to the brick, too. <laughs> Bless my heart. Sometimes it's it's like, oh, first this, now that. And diamonds. Here comes the diamonds. The perfect spot in those little round little circly things on that flower thing, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is. So we put Dive it's over to y'all. Please don't forget to follow the hop in the description box below. So there it is. That's the back. That's the front. Watch, watch. Go slide. I did. I uh, did. Uh, I glued a uh, butterfly in there when you weren't looking, because you know. Ta da! <laughs> Photo montage. Whatever great things you or we build, whatever good things we build. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Look at that. How cute. And it sides end up building us. And that's a quote by John or Jim uh, Roan. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. I appreciate each and every one of you, your kind comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. Please do the same for everybody else in the hop that you are new to or you haven't followed yet. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.